let's say you've, you're a pastor. Um, maybe maybe you have a small church. Maybe you're in a situation where you just don't feel quite ready to open up about struggles internally. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts on uh, the need to find that accountability outside the church, the local body you're serving in? I'm not totally averse to that. I think there are seasons of ministry where, not necessarily for sin issues per se, but it, it can be a lonely thing to serve in pastoral ministry. And particularly if it's a, a, a very rough season, if there's conflict in the church, um, or it's just, for whatever reason, it's just difficult. It's just trying. Certainly having friends, brothers, who uh, don't have a vested interest in how the church goes. That was something I, that I really struggled with. I, I, I actually pursued friendships within the church. I wanted to be close with men in the church. I, I wanted to be able to be myself. And invariably, something would happen in which I discovered, oh, like, I have to put the pastor hat on. I can't just be Jared with him, particularly if there was like, you know, I mean, you know, a church discipline situation or something like that. I'm like, oh, you're making me have to, you know what I mean? I just, I just want to be like buddies with you, but you know, you're being really harsh with your wife and you know, this needs to be addressed and it changes the dynamic. And so having, you know, other men outside who are in a similar role or in the same role, they know kind of what you go through. They know, you know, what it's like on your side and they're able to shoot you straight because how you respond, like they have no vested interest in how the church goes. You can, you can tend to trust their advice in some regards. Uh, you may not like their advice because a lot of times people outside will tell you the right thing and you know that's too difficult and may result in something that's uncomfortable. Uh, but they'll tell you because they're not having to be involved in it. Um, that can be helpful. But I think the ideal really is this, this life together that, that the Holy Spirit forms in a local body. He's made us one body. And if, if that's the case... Um, we should be striving as much as possible to really enjoy those one another's with each other. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm acknowledging some churches are more broken than others, and some churches are uh, in different seasons than others. And so some churches, it's just more difficult to do that than others. But I really think we ought to pursue um, appropriate transparency, confession of sin. James says it's healing to do this. And so it, it may be a like, you know, correcting a broken limb or something at first, it could be very painful. I know the reasons we don't confess. It, people's perception of us changes. They judge us, reject us. It's embarrassing, et cetera, et cetera. But the, the consequences of, of, of not being known are actually worse um, than the consequences of being known. Um, it's better for us, and it's more honoring to the Lord, I think. Um, Ray Orland says, uh, we, we all have the choice of whether to be impressive or to be known. Mm. And um, which I, I tend to agree. I, I, in some ways, I disagree with it because I, people who desire to be known, I find really impressive. <laughs> I find that, like that impresses me. Uh, but I know what he means, yeah. which is we can, I can keep trying to fool you into thinking I'm, you know, some big shot. Or I can be known by you and you'll realize, oh, he's not that big a deal. Mm.